How's the first few practices going? You know, they've been good. Uh, you know, it's a little different. And you know, day one is different than it probably was years ago. We've been practicing for really several weeks. But uh, the last four days, we've had great energy. Today's day six. We'll be off tomorrow and then come back, finish the week on Friday and Saturday. But I like where we're at. You know, we've, we've got a long way to go, but our energy has been good. Zion, will he be ready by the season starts, or do you have any idea? Uh, I don't know. You know, he had a little setback yeah. uh, the other day with practice. And so, um, you know, he's out for probably the next, you know, week to 10 days. Um, you know, he's had a, for a freshman, he's had a lot, dealt with a lot from injuries to some family stuff. So. Um, he just got to hang in there because he had a really good day at practice the other day, and then he kind of tweaked his knee a little bit. So, but he'll be fine, and he'll be back out there next week, hopefully. Same MCL deal as well. Yeah, as yeah, of- but just not, not that severe gotcha. though. So, a lot better than we thought. As you guys start practice, is there a biggest challenge that you guys face? Oh, uh, there's a lot of challenges I think, especially this early in the year. Um, you know, once you get going and the, and the newness wears off and the excitement wears off, can you continue to build good habits of doing things the right way every day, uh, whether it's closeouts, jump to the ball, getting back in transition defense. Uh, but the biggest challenge is, especially when we're small and we've got guys I think that are capable scorers, of continuing to stress to them about ball movement, player movement, and really sharing the basketball. But they've done a really good job up to this point. You know, we're charting a lot of more stuff. We're charting turnovers. Yesterday was a little sloppy, a little bit too fast. Uh, but we've had some really low turnover days, too. But I think that's the biggest thing. And then really being bought into being good defensively. What does Myrell Shiaf bring to this team? Uh, it brings a lot. You know, he brings of, uh, a lot of experience. He's the probably the been a part of the most winning of any of the players that's been here. You know, he's been sure. a part of an Elite Eight. He's, he's won ACC championships. And uh, he's won on the road in a, in a really – tough, tough league. And so I think, number one, he brings some experience, he brings character, he brings leadership, and he brings the ability to defend and then obviously make some plays offensively. What do you, I mean, are you expecting a lot of stuff from him off the floor too? I mean, in a lot yeah, of yeah, he's a guy that, you know, hey, um, first day practice was just okay. You know, it wasn't, mm-hmm. you know, probably what I expected or wanted. And, you know, he was talking to me that night like, hey, it won't happen again. And uh, and then he texted me last night. His communication's been really good. Just texted me last night about, hey, a little too sloppy today. We gotta, we gotta get, we gotta have a good day. We gotta finish today, tomorrow out the right way. Is he talking about himself or the team? Uh, probably a little bit of both. A okay. little bit of both. But I think the guys respect him because of his character, because of his work ethic, and he and he's won. How important, especially that last part, is to have somebody in leadership that's that's proven it, which you, you probably didn't really have last year. Yeah, I think it's important, and I think uh, I think I was on the radio yesterday, and they were asking me, you know, who's the lead. You know, I think they've done a good job collectively of all understanding. Hey, we all got to bring energy. We all got to, you know, do more than we did last year. And these new guys have fit in. You know, Taylor and Tyrese have fit in nicely. George just got back out there. He was dealing with mono, and so he just got back out on the floor. And uh, Zion, uh, you know, has been in and out like we talked about, but. Uh, the leadership's huge. I think it's a lot better. I think Lindell's made great strides. Uh, Marielle helps. Mike Jacobson helps. Uh, so I, I like that we've got more than just one guy. Who's been the, who or what has been the surprise through six days? I think Lindell. You know, I, you know, surprise from a standpoint. I don't know if it's a surprise, but I'm but I'm pleased with his growth from last year to this year and understanding what we need from him. A defensively. B. Uh, you've got to score, but can you make others better and can you make better decisions? And I think he's doing that. He's doing a really good job at the, at the point for us with that. And he'll play some point. He'll play off the ball at times as well. But, um, you know, Taylor obviously is, is talented. He's got to – we've got to stay on him. But he's, he's done some really good things. But I think everybody's had their moments. Mike Jacobson just brings such great energy uh, that, it, that it challenges Solomon every day that, hey, you, you've got to match that energy and toughness. How much did you learn in October about style? Big, small, like that. Yeah, that's what we're trying. You know, we we haven't had our collective bigs out there. So really, if you really look at what we've done through the month of September, it's all been small. It's been a fraction of barely anything big. Uh, we'll do a little bit big today because we're down in numbers today. Um, you know, Zoran's out. Uh, Zion's out today. George is out today because he can't go consecutive days yet. So we're at 10 today. Uh, so we'll go. We'll do some more stuff big. One team will be big. One team will be small. But we've really been a lot – focus really more on being small just because that's what our personnel has been and uh, they've done a good job and we don't have a million sets in what we're really just trying to focus on is 
you know, last year I don't think we moved and shared the wall as good as we need to, and we really made an emphasis of that. And I think they're doing good things. What's big look like? Is that three bigs, two bigs, or what? No, it's, uh, you know, between, you know, Cameron, Solomon, Mike, George. Cool you know, those, there. yeah, that would be two more of them. Traditional. More traditional kind of like bigs. And then, you know, if we're small, that's, you know, a Taylor at the four, a Marielle at the four. Um, you know, that, that those would be our two options if we're going to go small, I would think, right now. Zoran, I didn't just – he's out right now, but he's, he he's another. Uh, he got – George elbowed him in the nose. So broken? George got back to practice, broke his nose, and and so that's where we're at with that. Broken so, uh, they're, he's They're checking on that right now, but he's he's out just from a precautionary standpoint right now. How might Nick Wheeler Babs' role – I mean, it was kind of a little bit – how might his role evolve? How do you see it using him this year as opposed to last year? I mean, we'll use him in the same capacity. Nick, you know, once we moved him to the point, I mean, he had tremendous first, yeah. what, 10, 12 games. And then it just was, you know, our, our team just got flooded with injuries. And, um, you know, and it was it was tough to fight through that. But the same thing, I think the thing he needs to take a step in is, is just being vocal and then really at that position for us and the way I like to play is, uh, you know, to think and be a little offensive-minded as well to where, I can make shots. People got to guard me from three, uh, and then really push in great tempo and great pace. His knees are okay. Yeah, he's good. He's practiced every single day. He hasn't sat out one drill. His effort's been good. He's dove on the floor for loose balls. Uh, like I said, we're day six. He had missed a. He had missed, obviously missed a rep from sitting out. Obviously, guys sit out during right. practice, um, but he has not sat out, you know, or missed any drills or anything. So he's he's been all in and, and doing well. Jacobs and what? I think you're maybe second in the Big Ten in offensive yeah. rebounding last year. There. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. He he he's he brings a different element. I mean, that's one thing I think if we are big, I think we'd be able to really offensive rebound. I think Mike goes, Solomon goes, Cameron goes. Mike just has a knack for rebounding the basketball. Uh, I think it's more just he just plays with great energy. But anything, that's the one thing translates, you know, rebounding. If you talk to all, a lot of people, he can rebound out of his area. He rebounds because he has a great motor. Uh, but I think he averaged seven rebounds in about 20 minutes. Those are, those are good numbers, and we need that. Lindell mentioned Tyrese as kind of being his. I think I asked him who was the surprise. He was impressed with him. Are you? Yeah, Tyrese has thing? been. Yeah, Tyrese has been great. You know, we've thrown him in there with some of the older guys to kind of help his progression. Uh, today, I'm going to throw him uh, on the other team to be the point guard because he hasn't had a lot of point guard reps. Mm -hmm. Nick and Lindell have been getting both the point guard reps, most of the point guard reps on either team, uh, just to get them a lot of reps and get Lindell a lot of reps there. But uh, today I'm going to throw Tyrese out there, you know, at that position and see. But he has, he's got a good IQ. Guys like him. He's got a great personality. He's got an infectious personality. Uh, he can make shots, um, you know, and he's just, he's about the team and about winning. So he's, he's done well, I think. Uh, and it's helped probably playing with older guys. And sometimes as a freshman, the hardest thing to do is step in there and, and run the points or just kind of, you know, we'll play him at the one, play him at the two, and kind of ease his progression in there. How quickly are your scrimmages coming up? Quick. Uh, Two weeks from Saturday will be our first one, but it'll be good. So we'll, we'll be able to get, you know, our, our three-quarter court pressure in next week, our zone in the following week. And, uh, you know, offensively, you know, we tried to put a lot of things in just because I wanted to get a, you know, we didn't have our whole team this summer, so we didn't do a lot of five-on-five five this summer. So this September has been a lot more trying to figure out the best way for this team to play. Anybody making threes? Some days, <laughs> some days. We had a scouter the other day he said you guys look like you'd be able to shoot the ball. So, um, but some days better than others. And I think a lot of it though too is just the shot selection too. You mm -hmm. know, our shot selection's got to clear up. Um, but I do think you know Lindell shot it better. Mario can shoot it. Tyrese, I do think we, you know, if we could be you know kind of that 35 to 40 range would be great. Will you guys go to the exhibition games for your players? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go. It'd be a good opportunity for them to see the NBA up close. Um, and we'll be over there for Sunday night, so that'd be great. It's that's an awesome thing, you know. Hopefully, we can make that a full-time, you know, event to where they come every year. Um, but I think that's great. It's great for those guys to see what those guys look like in person, how hard they play, their skill level, their size, uh, and hopefully motivates them to continue to work and press towards their goals. Does it sort of help Iowa State fans in the area to sort of remind you, like, hey, basketball season's coming? That you would have a big time event like that at Hilton? Yeah, I think, and I, and I think they're, you know, hopefully can. You know, get about. I think their goal is to get about eight to ten thousand in there, and I think from what I heard, they were close when I asked the other day about tickets. But it's great. Obviously, it's, it's football season right now, and 
you know, I love football. Redskins are in first place right now, so, you know, life's good. Um, you know, but I love football. But uh, basketball, will be, uh, basketball will be around the corner in a minute. November 6th, our first game. The 20th is our first scrimmage. Uh, we got two really good scrimmages that'll really test us right out of the right out of the gate to see where we're at. You mentioned Tyrese getting to play on the other team this you know, today in, in practice. How big is that after last year when you guys couldn't even go five on five so many days in practice? And how how much does it help to at least have close to a full scrimmage? Yeah, we were in great shape, and then we lost two in one day. And I was you know, but but having 13 guys out there was like. And then we got three walk-ons, so there's like too many guys. But uh, but it is good, you know. We were at 10, but. I was a little concerned with Zoran and Zion. Are they going to be out for an extended period? We'll get them back a lot quicker than I thought. And, and so we'll be able to get in. George next week will be able to go full go. So we'll be back to back to 13 here pretty shortly. But it is. It's huge. It gives you an opportunity to do a lot of different things in practice. Us get up and down and play at the pace that we want to play.